Hello. For this playthrough, I will be playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the Dreamcast emulator. The emulator is called Retro Arc, and I also have quite a few filters put on it. Admittedly, I haven't touched this game in roughly five years, so I'm extremely rusty with it. Also, for the options here, you'll notice that I've changed the difficulty to uh, roughly twice twice the difficulty that the base game is. I think it starts either one or two pips. I'm going to put it on four. Uh, by the way, I've played this one time already and beaten this game but I played it on the one pip setting so I don't think it counts it's just basically so I can I guess re reaccustom myself to the button set also the damage will be rather high uh, I'm not sure this is a good or a bad idea given that with the difficulty uh, double like it is the computer will have an easier time just completely wrecking me so um, yeah kicking and screaming I'm gonna try to beat this game again but on a much harder difficulty so this this should be an experience um depending on how this goes this may be roughly 30 minutes to an hour of me you know looking good or this is just gonna be me getting my mouth caved in which um which is also entertaining i've heard there will be moments where i have to focus and uh i'll stop talking for long periods of time because i don't like to lose but um, as you can see, there's a lot of filters that I have on here. And what the filters essentially does is not only does it increase the resolution. I, I play this on a 4K television. But it also, as you can see, completely takes away the pixelation. Like this this sprite alone, the, the line work in it, this looks like, these look like drawings, you guys. This looks like an, a, a remake of the game. And uh, let's, let's just face it, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is by far the greatest Marvel vs. Capcom game to date, um, gameplay-wise. And uh, well, I feel like we should we should go back to 2D sprites, but um, I'll get off that soapbox, let's pick my cast here. I can't remember who I usually play with. Honestly, when I beat this on easy earlier, I don't, I have no idea who my team was. And um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a rough experience for me. So um, this should be this should be fairly entertaining for you guys, given that whew, I haven't picked this game up in years, and the difficulty is rather high right now. Chances are this is just going to be me getting dominated over and over. Or I might get good. Who knows, man? Might not be a complete dumpster fire. It might be just, you know, just like a little fire, and then I like put it out halfway through. Maybe, but let's see. The thing I love about this is the learning curve. This is a really hard freaking game. This is not one of those fighters you can just pick up ah, if you have no experience with playing. Literally, if you don't if you don't know anything about this game or if you've never played a Marvel vs. Capcom game and you picked up two, you will get wrecked. Heck, I've been playing Marvel vs. Capcom games for years. I put it down for I put it down for roughly five years, and look at me, I'm I'm trash. I can already feel the difficulty. To be honest, they're they're moving, they're dodging moves that they don't usually dodge. Oh crap! You're annoying. Wow, that was annoying. Okay, note to self, Captain America sucks. Or rather, uh, Cyclops is annoying. Yeah, this game has a serious learning curve. I have so much I have to re I have to relearn in this game. Can you die? Can you just die? Okay. These sprites look beautiful, man. This looks like ink work. This looks I feel like I'm playing with a comic right now. Like this animated uh, animation or animated comic. Jeez, that was actually hard. So the, the very first fight, it, it feels like the last fight on easy. That's not a good sign. So I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to learn quickly everything that I forgot. 
I did forget a lot, man. Okay, linking combos. It appears that the button set is only four buttons for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm pretty sure six was a six. Or rather, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 was a six button set. So that's a drastic change. I noticed in order to initiate a combo, you double tap a light. So your light and medium, medium are essentially inside of just your light. Which, in all honesty, I think it's fair to say that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 introduced auto combos. Just double tapping the same button twice and getting a, getting your medium is essentially a light form of auto combo. And I hate auto combos. I think it's the worst practice. So I take back what I said. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 is the, the greatest Marvel vs. Capcom game. I'm sorry. I'm biased too. I hate auto combos. Don't fish a price my game. I want it difficult. This is a game that like, if you master this game, you master this game. You are, you are literally a fighting game player. Not that crap where you can press square like 30 times in a row and do an air combo. Like, get out of here. I'm getting wrecked. I'm trying to talk. I can't focus on this. Anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cheese it out. I don't want to lose. Ah, I don't want to lose early in the game. Does Cable even have a pop up? I don't think Cable has a pop up. That's kind of like a best. Is that technically a pop up? Psylocke. Sorry, you gotta go, girl. Oh no. Captain America, if you lose, I swear to God. Oh, look at my life. Yeah, the difficulty is spiking very quickly. And I'm only on a third bout. I think there's seven bouts. Jeez. This is going to be ugly, you guys. This is going to be the world's most one-sided fist fight after a while. There's only six, seven. There is seven rounds. And I think the seventh round is the boss. This is going to get ugly. I won't even lie. That was hard. This, this fight that I just did was really difficult. And I'm only on a third fight. This is going to get... Oh, man. It's going to get to a point where I'm just going to stop talking so I can play. Because this is... Oof. Yeah. I, I just... I Yeah. I tried to connect the combo. I initiated my lights by jumping. I was going to connect it to a hard. And he moved. So I know this difficulty is up. Yeah. See? He just dodged that. This is going to get ugly. This is going to be really hard. I'm not expecting to win this fight. Friendly note, I know it seems like I'm cheesing it out with Cable. Cable's not a combo character. He doesn't do like uh He probably has a pop-up, but he does he doesn't he's not known for doing pop-ups and stuff in like very long lengthy combos like I I prefer to do. So yeah, he's basically keep away. Those of you watching who are like, oh, you're, you're cheesing it out. I'm not I'm not cheesing it out, you guys. That's Cable's playstyle. He's not a character you're meant to, to get close to. She's annoying me. I didn't mean to do that. I'm also having controller issues here. Yeah, I'm having input problems. My uh, controller's not reacting. It's not an excuse. I know this is still a dumpster fire, but it's but um, I'm having controller issues. Seriously, something's off with my uh, my button presses here. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah. Interesting thing: the Hulk, Juggernaut, and I think Zangief have super armor. Super armor basically means you can't just initiate a launcher on them. You have to link it to a combo. Essentially, you have to hit them more than once to get them to flinch. Otherwise, they'll just sit there like, what are you doing? I'm shocked I've gotten this far. Wow. I'm shocked I made it this far. This is really difficult. Uh, I forgot the damage is on Max, too. Dude. If not this come upcoming fight, the following fight and the fight after, the computer is going to obliterate me. Dude, the damage, the damage being high alone. I'm only on a fourth fight. Dude, I'm, I'm halfway through. It doesn't seem like much to you guys because you're watching, but playing this, I can feel the difficulty.
I hate that. That combo, that, that should have linked. Though this is one of the games where you can't be hesitant with your button press, you have to know what you're pressing, which I love in fighters. It's, I'm pretty sure I linked that combo. Fairly, fairly pissed off about that. Yes, I did that on purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out really soon. Cause this is getting, this is getting weird. Again, you guys can't tell, but I can feel, yeah, I can feel the difficulty spike. See that? Like I'm whiffing. I'm sorry I'm thinking right now I got I have to find like the appropriate move to do at certain times that's the only move I can think of that will reach him Ooh. you guys have no idea how weird this feels I'm actually I'm adjusting I'm adjusting I'm learning as I'm going but I can tell I try to initiate something as simple as a combo linking into a pop-up, something like air lights, and it doesn't connect. It never connects for some reason. But you, you noticed in the uh, first couple of bouts, I didn't have an issue with that. I was connecting everything. And I, um, people are under the impression that the, uh, the AI is basically how frequent the enemy attacks, which isn't true. The AI can actually, the computer can actually predict your, your moves you're going to do, what movements you're going to make what moves counter the moves that you're doing etc it gets the difficulty does spike like crazy and it's not just um, move frequency like people think it is like I'm having a crap time you can't tell but I'm having a crap time initiating combos he just dude he just took me out with that slam super armor I take it I'm trying to cheese it out here uh, and I don't have my shield yeah, I have to cheese it out. I don't want to lose. And trust me, Zangief will. He's, uh, he will kill you. Like so. That took a lot of damage. Okay, note to self, Zangief takes a lot of damage with his throws. Yeah, I can feel it. It's, this is going to get rough, you guys. By the way, this is my team. I'm sticking with this team. These are characters that I'm most familiar with. At the moment, do I have Cable? I always pick Cable last because I cheese it out with him. I like to shoot due to the keep away game as a last resort. Half the time, well most of the time that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling this difficulty, you guys. Like that, I just tried to initiate a combo and he blocked it and moved. He expertly moved. See, I can't even, I can't get anything low off. So now I have to figure out another way to to approach him. Yeah, this is this is weird. He's moving a lot more than he moved before. He's predicting me. I think I just whiffed that. Yeah. That was weird. You see how he jumped out of the way when I did that uh that launcher? Yeah. So I just tried to do a low kick and he simply closed the distance and punched me in the face while low. He did a standing light and hit me in the face. Like the computer knows what moves will connect. You know? I can feel it. I can just feel the I can feel the computer getting smarter. You can tell I'm very meticulous. I'm trying to control my movement because any move can take the rest of my life from me. Every character, literally every character has, see, every character has one move that could, could take that fraction of life away without any issue. I gotta figure out, oh uh, yes. I'm sorry, I need that damage. I know I seem extra careful here, but I, I know what this is. Yeah, I'm not trying to be cute or anything. I'm just trying to get the... Trying to get a stick and move. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, I'm no stranger. I know what this is. I know the the not to get too confident because I know this difficulty ain't no joke. Plus one one false move and it's over pretty much. 
I also take in consideration the hypers. He could just do one. Spider-Man could do a hyper, and he could call out that. He could do that. And if he hits me with that, that's my life bar. See that? I'm trying to, I tried to initiate a combo with a light punch, and I tried to, a light kick, and he just moved. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I know, I know what I'm seeing, you guys. At this point, uh, at this point, the best thing to do is keep it safe, especially with Rogue. Rogue can fight. <laughs> Rogue can fight, y'all. Rogue will cave your mouth in. Best, okay. Best thing to do at this point is keep my distance and try to get away with a hyper or two if I can connect it. That okay. I have a lot of life for each of my characters, but trust me, the difficulty is spiked, and that was really difficult for me. I actually, I essentially had to play like a coward. From what I recall, Sakura is really, she's really annoying. She's fast. She's very strong. Trombone is very powerful, too. Depending on her assist, her assist is very, um, it's a good assist. The grab assist. And I'm not sure about Ruby Hart. I don't remember her too well. Naturally. <laughs> she's not the most popular character. Yeah, but I'm not, I have to be very careful with this. Okay, so I, I tried to initiate a combo. She blocked it. She dashed back, and then she she closed the difference. She closed the distance, and then she tried her own combo, which she initiated with a low. I'm telling you, the intelligence is, is very, it's much higher than it was previously. I can feel it. Plus, I just played this game on easy, on one pip, and I had the worst time. So I'm expecting this to be a, a shit show. Like so, she just took me out with that combo. That was brutal. Yeah, I can't take too many of those combos. I'm gonna have to figure something out here. She's she's expertly. Cool. Depending on how this fight goes, I might have to be silent for a little bit so I can focus. This is going to. Not only am I going to have to cheat, yeah, I'm going to have to cheese it out because they're connecting combos. They're they're being a lot more intelligent with the moves they're choosing. Yeah, I might have to be quiet after a while. With the damage this high, you can't take combos like this and survive. I did a charging star. She guarded it and then she hit me low, which is very smart, by the way. I tried to do a hyper there and it didn't work. We just dashed for it. That's a controller issue. There's also lag with my inputs. I'm playing with a PS3 controller and um, I'm noticing a lot of issues with it. PS3 is just my, my preference. I uh, like the control setup. The style of the controller. I don't like that mouse pad thing in the middle of the controller either. I have, a, I have the most concurrent PlayStation system. So I do have the controllers required to... Um, I can play with better controllers. All right, I'm, tr I'm trying to cheese it out. This is gonna be rough because the computer's a lot smarter. They know how to get around. They can get around this stuff. Trust me. Oof. I'm trying to cheese it out. Oh God! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Back up! Get back, you harpy! Get back, you witch! You scallywag! You tramp. Get back, get back. Come on, chip it out. Cheese it out, baby. Come on. Oh, this is brutal. There is no way I'm going to win the next fight. If I get through this. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this next fight. Unless I just go completely quiet. Which I'm not doing. That was hard. That was hard. I was on my last guy. You see, it's life. This is rough. I can't believe I made it this far. This is one more fight, baby, and then the boss. Which, by the way, the boss is going to destroy me. All right, this is it. Doom is going to Doom is going to put it on me. Amingo is weird. He's a very odd character. He might be difficult too. I recall Mero being fast too. She's a quick one. Only thing I have to worry about is her speed. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn something. Okay, for this fight, I can either fight like a pussy and just keep my distance try not to get in too close because I know one combo and it's, it's pretty much my life or 
I can just move in. I can just be be aggressive. I'm gonna try aggression, all right? Chances are I'm gonna lose this fight, but I'm gonna try aggression for now. Yeah, I couldn't even hit her low. That was weird. I had my hyper on, right? And during that hyper, they have no choice but to block when you're in close. And usually what you do is if they're standing, you do a low attack. They read my low attack that I was trying to do. I tried to do a low kick and she blocked it. So I know, I know the computer's really smart right now. I'll tell you, man, one false move and I'm wrecked. Like that, like that. Look at this. Look at my life bar. Trying to cheese it out. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean, I didn't mean to call him out. Okay. This is going to get ugly. Yeah. You see how he initiated a combo? That's how I usually try to initiate my combos with the low kick. He's getting them. He's succeeding his low kicks on me, though. I'm dead. Yeah. I guess computer's like, I'm going to chip this guy away. I couldn't do anything. I was trying to hard punch, and she just kicked me low. There's no way I'm winning this. There's three characters to go through. Yeah, and then they close the distance too quickly. Doom. If Doom doesn't kill me, Amigo's gonna do something weird. There's literally no way I can win this. He, Yeah, he could chip me. He could easily chip me away with one hyper. There's no... Nah, there's no way... Yeah, one hyper and I'm pretty much dead here. And trust me, the computer is resourceful enough to figure that out. Wow. This doesn't count. That was luck. I had one hit left. That was luck. Okay, so I basically cheesed and lucked my way to the boss here. I believe this is the boss fight. Yeah, I think this is the boss fight. Let's see. Nope. Dang, you have to do seven fights with seven teams? So this is my gauntlet here. This is the team that I have to overcome. As you can see, that last fight, I barely made it out. So this is going to be... this is this. Is, I'm about to get wrecked. So this is the point where I have to adjust and I have to learn how to actually play now. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. First shot. Look at his damage. Look at that, he did one slam. You guys are seeing this, right? And don't look at me and be like, oh, where you put the damage on high. No, look at that, that's crazy. He's obliterating me with these slams. He took my entire life bar with two slams. Yeah, I have to adjust. That was weird. I tried to do a com I tried to initiate a pop up through kicks, and it just it didn't work. He just I, I don't know what the hell that was. I succeeded and hit him with that low kick, and then I tried to link it to a pop up, and he just he just moved. Like what the? F Some of this doesn't make sense to me, admittedly. I know a lot of you more verse players out there are probably like, nah, you can connect that, but I don't know. They just fell off felt like that was an issue with the AI there. I can't prove it, but it felt weird. I wonder if this game is like infamous or known for for cheap tricks like that. I don't know how I made it through this fight. Cable, man. That's why I picked Cable as my last guy, so I can cheese it out. Basically, with my first two characters, I play around, I fill them out, I do what I want freely. And then when I get to Cable, I know like the game is difficult at that point. So I have to like, you know buckle down and, and do his keep away game but yeah i recommend that like when playing marvel's capcom 2 or any marvel's capcom game the best thing to do is get a long range character or what's considered a character with range at, as your last okay i don't even remember this boss oh wow he stun locks you there i don't remember this boss admittedly I probably could just move out of the way of that, huh? I'm just standing there blocking. This is ringing a bell, though. Oh, yeah, the little guy with the laser. I remember this. Okay. 
I don't want to kill Strider, so I'm going to switch him out. Even though I need Cable for the last part, given that Cable, Cable has range here. So taking him out here isn't really smart because he might die. Okay, that was fairly easy. It's the damage. It's because the damage is so high. I bet if the damage wasn't as high, that would have it. It would have been more tedium to that, and it would probably would have taken a little longer. Something's off with this sprite. That might be a shader issue. He should be a lot bigger than this. Ooh. Uh, let's switch out. Okay, I, got, I have to figure out a move that can chip his life away. I take it that ball up there in the air is what I'm supposed to be hitting. I'm actually trying to dash. Okay, I get it now. He hides. He hides. He waits for you to hit the ball, and then he does his hyper. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. I'm hitting that. Give me that. Yeah, I knew he'd die. That was actually, this is actually difficult. Huh. I can't see him, so I'm just going to do my hyper and hope that I hit him. Uh, come on, come on. Oh. One hit. Wow. I was trying not to look like a scrub and do combos instead of being careful like I should have been. It wasn't that bad. This is passable. Okay, so the freaking boss is harder than the, the teams that you fight prior. Okay, let's let's go same team. I don't wanna let's not be cute here. Alright, we're gonna go Captain America. Strider. And who do I have? Captain America Strider. I'm sorry, I just brain farted. Captain America Strider. cable. Cable, need the uh, and yeah, projectile actually be useful. Okay, let's not be cute here. Picking the same team, just going with what I know, you guys. Again, the difficulty is twice what I what I played previously, and I'm not. I haven't played this game in years, so I don't want to take any chances here. It's a good opportunity to work on my combos, though. I remember being able to link your punches with your kicks. Am I confusing this with something else? I remember being able to do two punches, a light and a medium, and then linking it with a light and medium kick. Maybe I'm thinking about the game before this. Hmm. I remember the combos being more complex than this. This is fairly simple feeling. Oh crap, what is this? What, what the... Okay, that makes sense. Okay, you stop that. Where's my cat? Okay. Need a little range there. Strider's not a long range character by any means, but he has some project quote unquote projectile moves. Okay, this is gonna get rough. Okay, ball above his head. He shows up and then disappears, block. Yeah, hyper. Okay, get, get, get to the ball. Ah, looking like a scrub. Ah, I'm trying to dash. My my controller's having issues, like I said uh, earlier. Okay. Ah, Strider links. Punch, punch. I saw that punch. Oh, crap. He's dead. I did a punch, a punch, and a kick together. I did this light medium. And then a light kick, and it worked. So Strider's the one I, I am. Uh, I recall. I know what you're gonna do. So Strider has the long links, which is cool. Gives you the ability. Uh, you can do more entertaining combos. I'm surprised he made it. It's it's the high damage. The high damage made it the game seem or appear easier than what it is. But trust me, this is this wasn't easy. The level cap is, is, you feel it. And I won't lie, this is my favorite game. I have to beat this over and over to unlock all these characters for the roster. The, the roster is huge for this game. So um, I'll be playing this like 15 more times in a row. So 
I'll get to a point where I can put it on full hard again and just play it on full hard. So, um, yeah, but this is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'm playing it on a Dreamcast emulator called Retro Arc. So, um, if you guys want to pick this up, make sure you pick up Retro Arc. It emulates a plethora of different systems on your PC. And also, I recommend putting on shaders. The shaders basically takes away the pixel art aspect from it. Like, you, you can't count, count pixels on the sprites anymore and uh it just it basically makes the game look like you're playing with actual comic characters like this look at an anacharis or an anacharis look at the detail on this character you can't you literally can't see any squares on him anymore and if you look closely he has a black outlining on this character that's just how powerful and how cool these shaders are tron bond you can actually see the lines or the separation separation of the metal parts on her uh, her machine there her face her face looks like a hand-drawn anime character just take my word for it guys retro arc dreamcast emulator shaders um again this has been a one-off uh, hopefully it hasn't been too long and uh look forward to more work in the future also i'm working on mugen 2d fighting platforming game on the pc my current characters are Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII Remake, Berserk from the Guts manga, who's roughly 80 to 90% complete, and Afro Samurai, who I've recently started production on. Um, for those of you interested in Mugen or want to see cool Mugen characters, I recommend subscribing to my channel, following my work, etc. I'm not to toot my own horn, but I'm a very good sprider, and I'm a very good artist, so it, uh, it should show in my work, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces.